can the internet change and adjust the way billions of people use it? The simple answer is yes. A new Pew poll found hundreds of millions of viewers browse through YouTube and similar sites for the latest news and trending videos. A whopping 71% of Americans logged on to video sharing sites like YouTube and Vimeo in 2011. That's up 5% from the previous year. And rural internet users are just as likely as users in urban areas to have these sites. With the amount of information flowing into these sites each day, monitoring the content posted is no easy task. That's where you come in. YouTube relies on users to self-police the site using the flag button. Below each video, you'll find a flag button. Click on it to reveal a drop-down menu listing different types of content that violates our guidelines. Select the type of content. Sometimes you'll be prompted to enter the window of time offending content appears in the video. Then click the flag this video button. It's that simple. We review flagged videos 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And in most cases, they're reviewed and acted on in under an hour. That's the story. Remember, we depend on you, the community, to read and understand our guidelines and flag content that you think violates them. Now there is such thing called a digital fingerprint, but it's very hard to follow and quite easy to cover up. And the fact is hackers grossly outnumber government commissioned cyber experts. So what's the solution? Well, YouTube wants to take anonymity out of the internet by encouraging people to use their real names when it comes to making comments. It all began last month when the company announced the initiative. Here's how it works. When you try to comment on a YouTube video, a box will pop up that displays your username along with a side-by-side -side comparison of what it will look like to let YouTube pull your name from Google+. If you choose to make the switch, another box will pop up to show you what your comments will look like from now on, or you can keep your anonymity. If you choose to keep your anonymity, you just click on the button that says, I don't want to use my real name. But that will lead to another dialog box that questions why you don't want to use your real name. And there are six options for why, including my channel is for a show or character, my channel is for personal use, but I cannot use my real name, and I'm not sure. I'll decide later. Now, some say this is YouTube's attempt to become more transparent. But for now, it's up to the users to decide if this change is for the benefit in the long run. Megan Lopez, RT.